Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and today I want to take a look at how Blizzard might have broken out the Rogue to the point of probably, well, playable but not really competitive in patch 715. Now, I know that I had a lot of hype behind some uh, patch 715. There's a lot of good things that happen with it, and Rogues for the most part are looking pretty dang on good in my personal opinion. But that doesn't mean that they're perfect. I feel that some of the changes that has happened with 715 made Outlaw less viable. So what happened to Outlaw as in terms of changes? We got a 16% damage buff for most of our abilities, which is nice. We got good talent uh, buffs, so some of the other class talents like Killing Spree, Cannibal Barrage, Alacrity, a bunch of those talents got buffed in terms of damage, so that is awesome, making us even better for PvE in terms of raid situations. There was a slight nerf to true bearing in terms of defensives and uh, CC, really primarily with blind, but for the most part I thought there's no real big issues, just some nerfs to our defenses and CC, we're gonna be dealing more damage, no problem, right? Also, Slice and Dice got buffed, I don't know that many people that are currently using Slice and Dice, but currently it is not one of the best abilities in the game, not one of the best talents, but uh, at least something nice, a nice band-aid for Blizzard to add into the game. But seems that Outlaw Rogue, after playing for a bit in 715, did indeed get nerfed in terms of PvP. The defensive's cooldown reduction and blind cooldown reduction was apparently way too strong last patch. And I honestly thought that, hey, you know, I know that I have setups, and I know that I have, you know, more uptime on my defenses, but if I could just get a little bit more damage, I won't really need the uptime on my defenses. Apparently that's what made Outlaw Rogue very powerful, and it took me this long to realize it once we lost it. What the cooldown reduction for defensives allowed Outlaw to do is to be more aggressive and defensive in terms of PvP. You would pop defensives and in some cases use those defenses to ignore certain CC to put more pressure on enemies. You would also use those defenses to counter enemies pressure. So every time you don't have damage, you have defenses up. So every time enemies are ready to go you, you always have defensives, it's hard to kill you. And then you're always sitting on the healer, sitting on the caster, sitting on whoever, and you have your offenses up. So in a way, defensives and offensive cooldown reduction lined up really, really well together. And the damage did increase for Outlaw, but you simply just don't live long enough to really put some pressure on the enemy. And that is kind of where Outlaw is sitting. So what does Outlaw Rogue bring to the table? That is the main question to ask. Does Outlaw bring something specific than the other specs of Rogues to the table to make it more viable? Let's take a look at some of the other specs. First of all, Subtlety brings sustained damage, which we know is really good and been solid for a while, and even that damage got buffed, so Subtlety now deals more damage than before. You also bring a lot of CC with the ability to cheap shot, sap targets, blind, and you also have a little bit of cooldown reduction with some of your honor talents, so you actually bring a lot to the table. Uh, it's a powerful tool to be able to use a kidney off to, onto a healer and then right into a sap to score a kill and doing it over and over and over until you exhaust enemy's defenses and trinkets and any kind of tricks that they have up their sleeve. So subtlety is a powerful spec with great mobility, sustain and CC. What does assassination bring to the table? You bring in wound poison. Now the mortal strike effect that assassination rogue brings to the arena, some people think that it just simply doesn't bring enough to the table to be viable, but in some cases it's more viable than damage since it completely reduces incoming healing. You also have mass pressure via damage over time of rupture and garrote which also got buffed which is also really really cool. And now you have blind so I think the blizzard literally gave rogues zero reason to try out assassination and stick with assassination for pvp. You have great pressure, you have mortal strike, you have multi damage that you can put on more than one pressure, and now you have a blind. I mean, it's literally all in one package. And now Outlaw Rogue, let's take a look what it has. You have probably one of the strongest bursts in the game, maybe the strongest burst, especially out of all three rogue specs. You have Tricks of Trade and Plunder Armor, which is a powerful combo together, but apparently you become a one trick pony because cooldown reduction is no longer available. So what Outlaw Rogue becomes is literally the damage spec. You don't quite have the CC of a Subtlety Rogue with its consistency, and you don't have the consistent damage of an Assassination with its Mortal Strike pressure. So you literally bring in the capability to get your cooldowns back faster, but your sustained damage still didn't really increase that much when it comes to PvP. See, I don't know what the issue might really be. It could be because of the stat templates that we have, and maybe there might need to be some adjustment towards the stat template for Outlaw to have us deal a little bit more damage than we did in the past, or give us some sort of a mortal strike effect, or maybe allow us to get our defenses back. I'm not really sure what could be the fix. But currently, the Outlaw Rogue right now is not as successful as some of the other specs. 
I was fairly happy with Outlaw in 7.1, but the 16% damage buff got me so hyped for 7.15 and made me super happy and I kinda ignored the cooldown reduction nerf to True Bearing on your defenses and your blind. I thought that the damage increase was literally enough to make it arena viable and to keep it arena viable. Currently in Battlegrounds it's a lot of fun but it's a whole other experience in arenas. Now a lot of you might be asking me this, Balorant, have you tried all these cool builds? Have you tried some crazy slice and dice build? Have you tried Vigor? Have you tried going back to Vigor? Guys, I've been sitting here and trying different builds of an Outlaw Rogue all day long. And honestly, the best build that's currently available for PvP that deals the most damage and that is the most effective is the same build most Outlaw Rogues are running for PvE. Vigor is simply not enough of an option. Slice and Dice is nice, but it doesn't give you that cooldown reduction. Without cooldown reduction, you can't get your offenses back up as often. Without your offensives, you can't really put some pressure on somebody because Slice and Dice simply just doesn't give you enough sustain damage. I give it a try to Kill and Spree, I give it a try to Alacrity, I give it a try to Cannibal Barrage, and even the buffs to Cannibal barrage and kill and spree that are present i feel like it's just simply not enough to make outlaw rogues shine any brighter than they currently do and they're shining just as bright as a dull light i mean if you don't want to listen to my words you can just ask pry a blizzcon contender who played outlaw in the last blizzcon regionals and played combat rogues for a good part of warlords of Jenner and in the wad blizzcon ask him everything you need to know about outlaw rogues and he'll give you the exactly the same statement uh, thoughts on Outlaw? Outlaw's not that good right now. I, th I think if you want to play Outlaw, you need to play the Cleave, like with the DK. What's Carson and PS? Carson, what is Gimnish now? I saw other sub reviewer for an Outlaw. Oh, it's the sub digger. So there you have it guys, if you're looking for the best PvP spec then I think Outlaw might be the least favorable for Serious Arena. If you're pushing rating, I would suggest anybody to try out Assassination and Subtlety first before even thinking about Outlaw Rogues. And maybe we'll see some specific buffs for Outlaw Rogues in terms of PvP in the future but I feel like the chances of that are fairly slim because I never seen Blizzard really take a knee just for one spec so if Outlaw Rogue doesn't get approved at least it'll be something fun to play around with for Battlegrounds. On the bright side all the buffs for 715 made Outlaw Rogue some of the best specs in PvE imaginable so the damage that you are dealing in PvE is a must go and if you're doing any kind of PvE progression I feel that as a rogue you should at least pick up Outlaw Rogue for that cleave damage and even some of that single target damage. Even though it's kind of behind assassination in terms of single target it is basically a must for any Mythic Plus and other raid PvE progression. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about everything in the comments below and do you think that Blizzard will one day improve Outlaw Rogue? And if they were to go ahead and improve Outlaw Rogue, how do you guys think they would go about it? Then you are more than welcome to give all of your opinions and thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one.